I really don't fit the mold of the stere quote unquote stereotypical punk rock guy, hardcore guy. I've worked normal day jobs where I have had to wear a shirt, tie, a lab coat, all sorts of different things. And then people, you know, when I try to tell people what I do outside of that, you know, they don't expect it because sometimes, sometimes the shows can be a little rough and I'd come in with, you know, a bump, a scratch, a black eye occasionally and people are like, what happened? And then I'd have to explain it and it just sort of, people would go, First show I organized myself. I was completely shameless with promotion. I, I mean, I would put flyers up everywhere I could. One of the bands that played was Patent Pending, which at the time they were just friends of mine. They were a local band. Now they're touring all over the place. They're, you know, they just played the Billboard Music Awards on, you know, on national TV, which is kind of cool to see go from one to the other. I didn't have a whole lot of help with it. I mean, there were people there, but. I was running around, I was making all the phone calls, I was doing all the paperwork. There were 293 people that came to that first one. That's a number I will never forget because I'm like, you know what, I can do this. But it was stressful being 16 and not really knowing what I'm doing and running around. People were, some people were late, I had to make sure all the set times ran and it was a lot of work. I'm probably involved with anywhere from 20 to 50 shows a year. You never know what's going to happen. There's always something that will come up and shake things up and make it a little bit interesting. Mother's Day 2008. I was running a little bit late. I had gone out to breakfast with my mom and it was an afternoon show so I had to kind of go right from one to the other. I got pulled over. Now, what the cop didn't know is that um, what the band that was playing it became an inside joke and we ended up getting a lot of yoohoo for them. And I'm not talking just like a couple of, you know, bottles or juice boxes. I probably had 80, 90 juice boxes and a cooler in my back seat and another two cases of cans on my front seat, which I had covered with a sweatshirt. He decides to ask what was in the cooler, thinking it was going to be alcohol of some sort. I say, well, you're not going to believe me if I tell you. He's like, what's it? What's in it? I'm like, about 90 juice boxes, 80 juice boxes of yoohoo. He's like, Come on, seriously, what's in it? I'm like, no, really, that it's it's 80, 90 juice boxes of Yoohoo. And I reach in the back, I open the cooler, and he's like, oh, wow, um, you, you, you were not kidding. All right, you know what? Just go, just go, just get out of here and go. And the day kind of went from there. That sort of set the bar high for weird things. Uh, later that day, I ended up wearing a Curious George costume, handing out this Yoohoo to people. So... Like I said, there's always something a little bit different that happens. A lot of people have a certain view of the punk rock and hardcore scene. You know, they hear about what happens on the news at you know at certain times. Um, you know, they see all the tattoos, all the, you know, they hear the you know the quote unquote scary music to the people who don't know what's going on, and they don't know what they, they don't see that there's there's a certain friendship with it. I mean, you may not know these people, but you're there they are there for the same reason you are and you're into the same music and it it's just it's 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 a family the music just kind of kind of sunk in and it's something i enjoy something i like something that now i'm a part of it's the preparation it's the running around it i mean yes it is a lot of work that a lot of people don't see but it's 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 just being involved it's really not about money. I don't do this for the money. I don't do this to, you know, to get famous off of it. If I was, I'd be in a whole different line of music, to be honest. To me, if, the sh if, if I have enough money to put gas in my car on the way home and maybe go out to a diner with my friends after, it's been a good night.